Hi guys, this is a quick bonus video for you today. Basically, it's for the FabFitFun Summer Edit Sale. FabFitFun, after each season, when everyone gets their boxes, Afterwards, they have a members-only sale, and everything is 30 to 70% off. It's a lot of the same brands that you would see in the add-on section. It's a lot of new brands, and it's 30 to 70% off retail value. So they do give away some spoilers before the box, and I'm going to go over those. I've done some research on everything they have posted as far as what do the reviews look like, are any of them already on sale somewhere else, or could you have already received them some other way. So we're going to cover those. Everything's supposed to be between 30 and 70% off. So there are some really fantastic savings if you get the right products. Things do sell out. It's the same thing as basically like add-ons. It's kind of just like a sale that's just completely add-ons and just for members. They always have great items. You do have to be a member in order to take advantage of the sale and advantage of the discounts. If you are not a member, I will leave a link down below that gives you a discount on membership. It is a referral link. If you don't want to use referral links, totally fine for you to just type in fabfitfun.com, but I believe you do get a discount for using the referral link below. So I went ahead and took all the spoilers in their member community, all the spoilers from their email that they released, and I did a little bit of research and here is all of the information that I've gathered. So the first product in my email was the Nature's Blossom Bonsai Grow Kit. The email says it retails for $21.99 and that in the summer edit sale it's going to go for $11. I found it on Amazon for $21.99 and on Groupon for $18.99, so the FabFitFun Summer Edit price is still the lowest price. The reviews are just above 3, so the reviews aren't too positive. A lot of the negative review says it takes 90 days to germinate, so there's a long process before you actually can plant them, and also that the four trees don't turn out looking anything like what the box shows or what the instructions show. The second item in my email is the Habit Ness Morning Sidekick Journal, and this shows that it retails for $29 and that it's going to be $9 during the summer edit sale. On Amazon, I found it for $29.90, and its reviews were around 4.7. It had a lot of positive reviews and a lot of people that said it makes good gifts. The photos also made it look very cute, and it comes in three phases. So there's three phases in order for you to keep your morning habit. The next item in my email is the Ofer Cosmetics Blissful Highlighter. It's listed as retail value of $35 in my email and that it will be reduced to $17 during the summer edit sale. I found it on Ofer's website for $35 and I found it on Ulta's website for $29. At Ulta it has over a thousand reviews and it still has a 5.0 and then Overstock has 4.8 and then on Ofra as well it has 4.8 so it's getting a lot of positive reviews. The next item on my email is the Green Goo Nursing Cream in a large tin. It lists its retail value as $14.95 on the email and that it's going to be reduced to $7 during the summer edit sale. This was not easy to find, but I did find it for $14.71 on a site online, and then I did find it on Amazon as well for $7.99. It is on sale on Amazon, and the Amazon reviews for a 3 tin pack was 4.4, and for this tin was a 4.3. The next item in my email is the Nassif MD Dermaceuticals DecoLift Neck Firming Complex. The email says that the retail value is $60 and it's going to be reduced to $24 during the summer edit sale. I found it on Amazon for $55 and I also found it on Zulily for $34.99. However, it's already sold out on Zulily. There were very few reviews, but there were reviews on several products across this company and most of the reviews in the company seemed positive. The next item is from 111 Skin. If you saw me unbox my summer box, you know how obsessed I am with 111 Skin. This is listed at $160 and it's going to be $59 during the summer edit sale. It's a three-phase anti-blemish 
booster. Everywhere that I looked, it was listed for $160, so this is going to be the lowest rate that you will find. There were not very many reviews. All of the reviews were five-star reviews, but it was just less than, you know, a handful. I do really love this company, so if there was something, if I was having issues with blemishes, I definitely think this is something that I would try out because everything else that I've used from this company is absolutely amazing. The next product that I got in my email is from Cinnamon. It's a set of lip balm, toothpicks, and lip scrub. It is retail for $20 and during the sale it will be dropped down to $9. Basically I only found this product on Cinnamon's website so I don't really have too much to compare it to. The retail value is correct and it uses cinnamon as a plumping agent so that does cause minor damage and that's how you get that increased blood flow and plumping. I don't really like products that use cinnamon or that use chili to plump your lips. It also has beeswax which is another ingredient that I don't use so for this this isn't really something that is targeted perfectly for me. As far as the reviews online there were positive reviews as a balm, the feel and scent of the balm, but there were negative reviews as it being a plumper. Those are the only product that I found on Amazon. The next item that came in my email is the Fake Bake Darker Flawless. It showed retail value of $32 and that it's going to be on sale during the summer edit sale for $9. I found it on Ulta, Fake Bake, and Amazon, all listed as retail value of $32. On Amazon right now, it listed 25% off. There were over a thousand reviews on Amazon and it had a 4.2 star review. On Ulta it had a 4.5 review and a lot of the reviews posted photos and the tan looked very natural. It did not look orange at all. So if self tanning is your thing, this is definitely a product that I would recommend picking up in the sale. So I also belong to the FabFitFun community. If you're a member, you belong to the community and we all get different emails. So the great thing about that is we can all share our email and we get to see a lot more spoilers. So one of the people in the community shared Ovation Hair Cell Therapy, Hair and Scalp Treatment, retail value of $29.95 and discounted during the sale for $9. Everywhere that I found this, it was retail value of $56.95, that's on Ovation, Amazon, and QVC for a 12 ounce bottle. So I'm assuming because this says it's retail value of $29.95 that it's going to be a trial or travel size bottle. The reviews are pretty positive. There was 4.2 is the total stars on Amazon with 58 reviews. It uses keratin protein and castor oil, and most people did say they saw a difference. The next item is the Volish New York Peeling Socks and it says this retails for $18 and it's going to be discounted for $5 during the sale. When I looked it up, I literally couldn't find this anywhere. The only thing I could find was the wholesale of buying $25 with the retail value of $450 and that's for places to buy like a salon. And so that does make them $18. They are paraben free and cruelty free, but other than that I couldn't find any reviews or any ingredients of how these work. The next item that somebody posted in the community is the AVA Hair Care Moisture Leave-In Conditioner retailing at $28.95 and being discounted for $11 during the sale. I found it on Amazon for its retail value, $28.95. There were only a few reviews, less than five reviews, but they were all pretty good. That's as much as information as I found. Another item that was posted in the community are the Pop Band London Hair Tie Set of Five with a retail value of $9 and being reduced to five during the summer edit sale. I found them on Amazon for $9. The reviews were just okay at 3.3. A lot of times people's negative review was because they become loose over time so you only get a few uses out of them. The next product that somebody shared in the community is the Aria Beauty Hashtag Hair Goals Hot Styling Brush with a retail value of $120 and it's going to be $39 during the summer edit sale. I found it on Aria Beauty's website, same retail value but reduced currently on sale for $95.99. Still the best deal being with FabFitFun. There are no real reviews anywhere. I only found one review, so I don't really feel like that's enough. Um, but there were some reviews on Amazon for other Aria Beauty hair tools, and those are both positive and negative, so it was just, you know, kind of around three. The next item that somebody posted is the Bathorium Crush Soak 5-pack, and it's listed at retailing for $45 and going down to $14 for the sale. 
The closest thing that I found on Bathorium's website is a five-pack gift set for $49.95, and it's also on sale there for $39.95. There are no real reviews, so this is just one of those things that it's a big enough discount, you'll just have to take a chance on it. The next item that somebody posted is Pearlies and Candy Johnson collab for the Buttery Orange Creamsicle Body Butter. Um, this says it's $24 and that it's going to be reduced to $7 during the sale. Unfortunately, I couldn't find this anywhere. I only found their three pack, which was $20 and included the scrub, the body wash, and this body butter. The reviews on Ipsy give it a 4.1 in reviews and influenced her a 4.5 reviews. Mostly it's positive, you know, very moisturizing and all that, but the reviews that aren't positive are because of the scent. The scent isn't necessarily the nicest for the lotion. It's mostly made up of coconut oil and fruit extracts, so it has a lot of great ingredients if that is what you're looking for. The next item somebody listed is the Mia Del Mar Novellera Eyeshadow Palette. It says its retail value is $30 and it's going to be discounted for $11. The $30 is what I found on their website. I didn't find it for any other price. There are not very many reviews, but the few that are, are positive. The next item that somebody posted is the SPF RX Dual C plus E plus F Antioxidant power serum with a retail value of $65 and it's going to be reduced down to $17 during the sale. I did find it online for a discounted rate of $51 with Walmart and $41 with Lovely Skin, but nothing as low as the $17. I looked up the ingredients and they are very good. It's based in water, it has aloe leaf juice, it has vitamin E, arnica mantana, which helps with healing, sodium hyaluronate. These are things that I've talked about on this page before and this is definitely a product that I will be grabbing tomorrow because of the quality of ingredients. The next product that someone posted is from COSRX. It's toner to cream with a retail value of $26 and going down to $14 during the summer at its sale. I did find it on Walmart and Amazon for $21 and $18. There are not very many reviews on this specific product, but there are a lot of reviews on other products from the company and most of those are very positive. It has ingredients like seawater, vitamin C and E in a high uh, amount, and sodium hyaluronate, which is another moisturizing product. This seems like a pretty good uh, all-around product. If you ask me if it's something that you're looking for, then you might want to consider this one. Another email is the Kate Somerville Retinol Eye Cream. I have used this before. I do love it. It's listed as retail value of $85. It's going to be discounted for $24. It has very high ratings across several websites, 4.8, 4.7, 4.2. The lowest I found it online was for $75, so this $24 price tag is definitely a steal. Somebody listed the Lifestyle Co. Beach Mist After Sun Spray. I only found it on the Lifestyle Co.'s website. I didn't find it anywhere else. It says it retails for $42, which does match what's on the website. They have pretty good ingredients. There's nothing in it that I would steer clear from, and there are no reviews available, so I'm not 100% sure, but from $42 to $17, if this is something you think you're interested in, this is a pretty good rate to try it out. The next item that somebody posted is a Kinsey Blush Radiant Shaver. It's listed as $49.99 and $19 in the sale. I could not find this literally anywhere except on Poshmark, and it was listed for $28 on Poshmark. But there are zero reviews, so, you know, do with without what you can. The next item somebody posted is Eve Hansen Rose Clay Mask, listed at $25 and reduced in the sale to $11. Everywhere I found it online, retail value was $25. On Amazon, it had 4.7 reviews. 75% of the reviews were five-star reviews. Most of the positive comments say that it was good for sensitive skin or that it doesn't dry out your skin like some of the other clay masks. So if you have a really sensitive skin, this might be the clay mask for you. The next item I found posted is from BioRace. It's a pore tightening pearl clay mask retailed at $25 and reduced in the sale to $9. I couldn't find this exact size online, but I did find a smaller size on Amazon, but there's not really a price comparison there. 
It has a lot of reviews, over 80,000 reviews on Ipsy, so it has a 4.3 rating there, a 4.0 rating on Amazon. I checked the ingredients out. It's water-based, it has clay, which is basically what's gonna absorb oil, it has pearl powder, which I've never seen anywhere else. I'm not sure exactly what that's meant to do, and rice bran extract, so that kind of helps exfoliate dead skin. The next product I found is from Kalos. This is a triple threat detox mask. It's listed as $39 retail and it's going to be reduced to $14 during the sale. It is listed $39 on their website, so that is the retail value. There are not many reviews, but all the reviews are five star reviews. I did check its ingredients and it has hyaluronic acid, CoQ10, several plant derived oils and extracts. This is a company that is very important for them to have naturally derived ingredients and so they have 99% naturally derived, 70% organic. So that is all amazing. The only thing that I would say is a little bit iffy is it does include cayenne. So if you have very sensitive skin, like I said before with cinnamon and cayenne, for me it's not something I specifically like to use to promote blood flow. Um, I understand the benefits of it, but it could also be a mild irritant. So it's completely up to preference and it's completely up to you and what works best for your skin. The next item somebody posted is St. Tropica 100% virgin coconut oil, retail value of $15 and reduced in the sale to $9. Everywhere I found it, Amazon, Ulta, Walmart, it was $15. It had a 4.4 star review on both Amazon and Ulta. You could use this. Pretty much it's just like cosmetic grade coconut oil, so you can use it as a makeup remover, also in your hair or body as a moisturizer. These next two I'm going to go over together. They're both from Glass Ladder & Co. One is their mini organizer clutch, and that's $9.99, reduced down during the sale to $34. And the other one is their Tex organizer clutch, which was $79.99, reduced down to $29. I currently own a Glass Lat & Ladder tech organizer clutch that I got in a cause box and I do love it. It's vegan leather. It's supporting a company that wants to make a difference. So I definitely think this is a great find and you're getting it at a reduced rate. There was a second Kalos product posted. This is the Daydream pH balancing and brightening moisturizer retail valued at $28 discounted to $9 during the sale. In this one, they say that it's 97% naturally derived and 72% organic. The ingredients look amazing, aloe vera, palm oil, green tea, and then several oils and vitamins. They also have a Luxie brush set, the Rose Gold Detail Face brush set, which I do own. I got that in some sort of subscription box, but it retails for $42. It's discounted for $14 during the sale. I do use three of the brushes pretty religiously, so I definitely recommend grabbing the set for $14, even if you just used two of those brushes. It would pretty much be worth it. Another community member posted an email with the Trust MD booty booster mask and this retails for $56 it's going to be reduced down to $21 this is really popular right now is masks for this specificular asset and I could not find any reviews anywhere but I did check out the ingredients all the ingredients looked like they were moisturizing like rose extracts hyaluronic acid vitamin E jojoba shea butter all of that looks like it's really moisturizing I didn't really see anything for lifting or firming usually you would find caffeine or a fruit extract that would be helping with that lifting or firming but someone posted the Grace and Stella blackhead peel off face mask retail value of $16.95 reduced in the sale to just $5 I went on their website it is listed at $16.95 you can find it a lower price on Amazon for $12.99 overall it had 66,000 reviews because it was an Ipsy product and those reviews are 4.2 it seemed pretty good reviews. A lot of the ones that weren't good said it was because it was messy or because it took a long time to dry. The next item I saw posted is the Bindle Coral Bindle S Plus Straw Lid and this is retail for $46. It's going to be reduced down to $24 during the sale. I found something similar on Amazon. I'm not sure that it's the exact same because the Amazon one says that it retails for $40. It might also just be discounted on Amazon. But the reviews there is 4.2 reviews on that coral color with 42 reviews and 4.3 with the blue color and 45 reviews. 
The one on Amazon also has a storage compartment. I cannot say that this one does as well, but I feel like it looks like the same bottle. It's just kind of hard to tell. Next they have Zoe Ayala Electric Makeup Brush Cleaner. I bought a similar cleaner. It is from the same brand, but I don't believe this is exact same one. It's listed as retail value of $129.99 and reduced down to $29. I similarly bought it very discounted during one of the past edit sales. And to be completely honest, giving my own review, I definitely don't think it's worth the value that they place on it. Is it worth the 29? Sure, but I don't think you're getting as good as savings as you think you are getting because it's just, you know, any normal brush cleaner. There's nothing really that special about the Zoe Ayala brand. The next item that somebody posted is the Mia Del Mar Flamingo Blush Palette. Retail value of $35, reduced down to $11 during the sale. It is only found, as far as I could find it, on their website for $35. There were only five reviews, so you can't really put too much weight on the reviews, but it did have a 4.4 rating with those five reviews. The next item that was posted in that chat is the Fizz and Bubble Truffle Set. Retail value of $20, reduced down to nine during the sale. These are bath bombs. You can find them at Ulta for $20. There are not very many reviews, so this is just something if you want it, you gotta try it. I'm gonna do both of the next two products together. They're both from 111 Skin. The first was a Vitamin C Brightening Booster. Its retail value is $180. It's going to be reduced to just $69 during the sale. And the second is 111 Skin Sub-Zero De-Puffing Eye Mask with a retail value of $105, reduced down to $39 during the sale. The Vitamin C, I found it everywhere for $180, Neiman Marcus, Barney's, Revolve. It has 4.5 stars on Ipsy, and so the good thing about that is it's 47,000 reviews. It's water-based, it has vitamin C for discoloration. The only thing I don't really like about it, and I really love 111 Skin Period, is that it has fragrance, and I know that I wouldn't want a fragrance on my face while I am sleeping. So the other one is the Sub-Zero Mask. You could get one for $15 or 10 for $105. There's not very many reviews on this. It has a five-star review, but only six reviews. Also water-based. This is probably something I definitely will pick up for $39 because I just love their other masks so much. Next item that was posted is the Tea's Tea Tropical Tea Trio with Infuser. It is retailed at $39.95. It's going to be discounted for $21. I found it on their website for $39.95. They didn't really have any reviews, but there were some Amazon reviews for some of their other products, and they have a 3.8 Amazon review. Most of the issues that people had were with the infuser breaking or not lasting very long, so it wasn't actually specific to the tea, it was more with the infuser. The next item I saw posted was the Kim Kimball Hybrid Quick Dryer. It's normally $120. It's going to be reduced down to $79. I definitely know that I want something like this. I have been looking at the Dyson one, but I couldn't find any reviews for this anywhere. So I'm just going to hold out and wait a little bit longer until I can see some other people's reviews. The last email spoiler that I saw in the chat is the Som Institute Transport Pads. For $65, it's going to be reduced down to $19. And I didn't find too many reviews on this, but I did find a few. And it is $65 on all of the websites. The reviews are all really, really high. So it's on different websites too. It's basically full of toners and exfoliators. It also has a lot of vitamins, vitamin C, B, A, E, it has aloe vera, has a lot of antioxidants in it, and has green tea. And for me, caffeine is one of the like secrets to my skincare, so I'm definitely interested in this. I think this is something I will grab tomorrow. So the editor also posted some spoilers in the community, divided into different sections. The first section was Summer Loving, we already talked about the Mia Del Mar eyeshadow palette, and the Aria Beauty Hair Goals Hot Styling Brush, but the Lack of Color Visor is from an Australian company. They are listed at retail $130. There is no word yet on what the sale is going to list them at, but they look like pretty good quality. I don't know that I would pay that much for a visor. 
The second section was Skincare Made Simple. We already talked about the retinol eye cream, but it also has Riddle Oil Original Roll-On. This is actually a roll-on fragrance, as far as I can tell. It's $50, and it's a unisex fragrance. has 23 reviews. All of them are five stars, so it must be pretty good. Then there's the Frank Body Glow Mask. This retails for $22. It has a 4.8 review on Frank Body, 4.3 review on Ulta, and 4.6 on Influencer. It's described as a quick five minute fix for your skin. So the next section was fake it till you make it. The fake bake tanning water is in there. They also added Ofra Beverly Hills highlighter. This is a different highlighter than the one that was in the emails. This one retails for $40 on Ofra, $32 on Ulta. It has a 4.8 rating with 1,595 reviews. They say it's really easy to blend. Ofra makes some of the best highlighters, so I definitely believe it. Then there's the Bare Republic Miracle SPF. 30 sunscreen. This retails for about $15. I actually received this for free from Influencer. I really like it. I prefer mineral sunscreens to chemical sunscreens, but there was just something a little bit about the texture that I didn't love love, but if this is a good enough discount, I would snag it. So the next section is glamping that has a gravity blanket. I'm assuming it's the original gravity blanket. Those go for about $250, $260, so I'm not sure what kind of discount they're going to give you, but I've definitely been wanting a gravity blanket that's supposed to help you sleep so well. Then the LSTN speaker, it's a Bluetooth speaker, Gramercy speaker. It retails for $129.99. Again, this depends on exactly what the discount is going to be. There's not really many reviews on this as well. And the last is Clio and Coco Grapefruit Bergamot Charcoal Deodorant. They're about $18 online. There are some pretty good reviews. It has like a 4.7, but that's on a different scent. They don't actually have the grapefruit scent posted. The last section that she posted was from Beach to Bar. It had Gucci sunglasses on there. Of course, we don't know which style exactly. The Agapantha Jewelry Sweetheart Studs. Those retail for $42. They're very cute. The More Labs Morning Recovery Sugar Free Drink that retails $35 for a six pack or $65 for a 12 pack. It does have a 4.1 reviews on Amazon and it's basically just a drink, I believe, for post drinking. It is sugar free and caffeine free, so it might be kind of a healthy alternative to get that boost the next day. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it helps you make some of those decisions tomorrow, the 1st, or Thursday, the 4th, when the sale opens for you. See you guys next time. Bye!